and thank you for joining me. Whenever you do, please uh, comment with good morning or happy Saturday so that I know that you are here. And I would love it if you were to share uh, this as well. That would be great. So I have still been using the ATB curbside pickup. And the other day, they put some Pillsbury cinnamon rolls in my order by accident. I haven't bought these Pillsbury cinnamon rolls in probably 10 years. So um, I was like, what am I going to do with these? So I thought I would try an experiment. And of course, why not do my experiment live with you guys on my business page? So I'm going to be grilling some of the cinnamon rolls in my brand new nonstick grill pan, which I have heating up. And I'm going to do some in the waffle puff pan. So that's going to be pretty exciting, right? So to start with, I have my waffle puff pan heating up. I've already used my basting brush and a little bit of oil to baste the wells inside. And I'm just going to unroll these. Like I said, I haven't had these in years. There we go. So I'm going to unroll them, open them up, save the frosting, because that's going to be yummy later. All right. And for the waffle puff pan, all I'm going to do is lay them on there. So I'm going to lay uh, five, one in the middle, and then just do them like this. Right, and then I'm just gonna close the lid, squish it down, and let it start cooking. That's it. All right, I'll flip it over in just a little bit. Now for the ones that are on the grill pan, I'm actually gonna roll them out using my baker's roller. This is the baker's roller right here. It looks like it could make a great massager, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not really for that. All right, let me turn this down a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna roll these out a wee little bit to flatten them out a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just gonna stick it on the grill pan. I might need to turn that one up a little bit. All right, turn one down, turn one up. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. Ooh. There we go. Oh, I peeked, it looks good. All right, so let me roll this one out. These should not take very long to cook. There we go. Let me roll out the other one. All right, what did you guys have for breakfast? If you're joining me, let me know what you guys had for your breakfast today. Now we're just gonna let those grill up and cook right there. Good morning, good morning, how are you doing? Comment with what you ate for breakfast. So if you've just joined me, I am making grilled Pillsbury cinnamon rolls and waffle puff cinnamon rolls. They're going to be delicious. So while we are waiting for those to cook, I'm just going to throw together a quick uh, fruit salad. I have some strawberries that need to be used up. So I'm gonna use my pour and more, which is this tool right here, to just take off the tops of the strawberries. And then I'm going to use my quick slice, which is this tool right here, to slice all the strawberries up. Hello, hello, if you are joining me, I am doing grilled cinnamon rolls and waffle puff cinnamon rolls, simply because H-E-B put in my cart order accidentally Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I haven't bought Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, like I said, in about 10 years. So I thought, what can I do with them? Y'all comment uh, with what you had for breakfast or comment good morning, just so that I know you were there and um, feel free to share. So I've got some cinnamon rolls that are on my grill pan grilling and some in the waffle puff pan, which I'm just gonna check real fast. I had my waffle puff pan a little too high. So this side got a little burnt and then this side needs to cook a little bit more. So we'll turn it up. All right, and now I'm just making a fruit salad. So I've got my strawberries hulled with the corn and more right here. Just gonna put them on the quick slice. This is the easiest way to slice up your strawberries. And I'm just gonna slice down. And then now check it out. I've got sliced up strawberries. See, ta-da! 
Good morning. So I'm gonna add my strawberry. Oh no, I'm such a, sometimes I do the silliest things. Those were the tops of the strawberries in that bowl. All right, so I've got some sliced strawberries. I'll do a couple of more. These are some very overripe strawberries. All right, this one looks good. So the corn more just takes the top right off the strawberry without actually um, wasting the strawberry. And then the quick slice just slices them up so that you have nice, even slices. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying not to get too close. All right, and then I'm just gonna throw in some blueberries that I have. And that'll be um, a little quick fruit salad to go with these delicious things. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and flip over the first batch of these guys. Whoever thought about grilling the Pillsbury? <laughs> have you ever thought about grilling Pillsbury? I have not. All right, so let me flip this one over, my puff pan. Oh, look at that. Can you all see that? Let me come show it to you. So this comes off pretty easily, see? Like that. Look. Look! So that was five cinnamon rolls. Doesn't that look delicious? So that took like no time at all. Um, I will have to get adjusted to the temperature of my waffle puff pan. The waffle puff pan also comes with this um, cute little fork right here. Let me know what you guys had for breakfast this fine Saturday morning. My son is anxiously awaiting his puff waffles. So once that cools down just a little, oh, turn it off. Once that cools down just a little bit, I'll add the frosting that came with the Pillsbury and some fruit, and that looks delicious. Let me show you. Would you ever think to use a waffle puff pan for Pillsbury uh, waffles. Hey Donald, how are you? Hey Cheryl, hey Amy. Y'all comment, uh, good morning, or happy Saturday, or what you ate for breakfast. Just comment something. So anyway, so this is just the store-bought um, Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, and I just put them in my waffle puff pan. And here I have some that are grilling on my grill pan. Look. Doesn't that look fun? So these just need to cook a little bit longer. A little bit about the grill pan is, look, the handle comes off. Comes off super easy. The grill pan does go in your oven, and um, it's so much easier to store your cookware when the handles come off. Plus, it is uh, dishwasher safe, although I don't put any of my cookware in the dishwasher. I just like to wash them by hand. All right, so that looks like these are done as well. Oops, yeah, those are done. I'm gonna grab a plate, y'all stay right there. All right, let me turn that off. So now we have cinnamon rolls cooked on the grill pan and cinnamon rolls cooked in the waffle puff pan. My preference, the waffle puff pan. So I use the waffle puff pan for making sandwiches. I use the waffle puff pan for um, using a tortilla. I use it for lots of things besides just waffle mix. You can also use cornbread mix. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. I've got my coffee ready, got my fruit salad ready, and I keep throwing those damn tops in my fruit salad. Got my fruit salad ready, my waffles ready, my coffee ready. I'm ready for a great Saturday. Cheers, y'all. Bye.